The next five weeks are sure to be heavy on politicking. Canadians going to be inundated with messages all designed to sway your vote. Well, we've been asking about the issues that matter most to you, whether you've made up your mind, whether you are still undecided. These are early days, obviously. And as your responses come in to us, well, we thought we would take a moment to speak with a couple of voters uh, to find out what they have to say about how they'll be making up their mind and more because there's such an interesting story. You've met them before when they went back to school, when they started at U of T at Trinity College. Mariam Raymond and Naval Raymond, twins, incredible list of accomplishments, uh, activists at the age of eight after a trip to Pakistan, which is where they were born. They have their own charity. They're involved in a number of humanitarian uh, activities. They've won awards, Governor General's Caring Canadian Award. They have a YouTube channel and they did an interview with Justin Trudeau and that was, yes, Malala Yousafzai right there beside. So they're very involved in issues, particularly on climate, particularly on gender. Uh, they are well informed and it's really a wonderful opportunity to talk to them about this election as we bring you voters' voices. Naval on my left. So Say hi, Naval. Hi. So, so also screen left, and uh, Miriam also on the right. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. And great to see you. I'm going to look at your braces because that's going to tell me who's who. You really are fantastic. It's great to see you and to be able to tell more of your story. We were so impressed with the reporting on you when you started to attend U of T. Number one. You just turned 18 back in June. Yes. That means this is election number one for you, Mary. You get to vote for the very first time. Yes. How do you feel about that? I think it's um, a big responsibility because we feel like um, voting is definitely a right that we should all um, make sure that we're taking advantage of and make sure we're participating. Um, we want to make an informed decision on election day and so we're definitely paying close attention to the campaign and trying our best to um, vote for something we feel passionate about and um, that we support. It's so interesting. So you're feeling the weight of responsibility yeah. of that exercising that right to vote. Are you excited about having the, the, the chance to, to vote for the first time, Naval, or are really uh, the whole emotion of it. Yeah, for sure. We think that um, it's definitely like a great uh, opportunity that we have and um, it's a chance for uh, all citizens really to voice their concerns about the issues that matter to them and by voting you really put your money on uh, your mouth basically. You like say <laughs> what um, you do what you, uh, you're passionate about and you um, you vote for the thing, the causes that you care about really. That's great. It's so exciting to hear young people so um engaged already on this day too but I introduced you as undecided yes. that's true yes. you have not neither of you has made up a decision who's no. getting your vote at this point no, no. although based on the pedigree I was just relating do you too, do you tend to lean to more progressive side is that would that be fair Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and um, for us, like causes like gender equality and climate justice are very important to us, and mm -hmm. so um, definitely there are like the more progressive candidates are leaning towards those issues. And uh, right now, we're just going to see how they hope to address them and what types of steps they um, hope to make when they are elected. Uh, whether it's the like the current government getting elected again or if it's a new government, uh, we hope to see action in these issues. So, so you're going to be looking to platform. It sounds you're going to be paying yes. close attention. Yeah. Where do you think you're going to be getting? your information. Tell me about how you plan to sort of follow this election campaign and yeah. gather the, the the details that are going to determine where you do vote. I think it's definitely going to be a lot on social media, like mm -hmm. um, Twitter for sure, and also news reporting. Um, and then we'll be playing, paying close attention to the debates. Uh, we know that the first one, Prime Minister Trudeau won't be there, but we're still going to be considering it because other candidates will be present. Um, so we're definitely going to be paying attention on all fronts. We'll try our best to get um, different points of views and, and also make sure that that we're looking at different sources of information to make sure that we're making an informed decision again because that really matters to us, making the right decision uh, when we do vote. So. You mentioned the debate. Naval, for you, the fact that uh, Justin Trudeau has opted out of this first debate, yeah. um, how does that skew things? And I'm just wondering whether you know it bothers you that he's not taking part or whether you two will follow along closely. Yeah, so um, we believe that it's important for um, you know all the candidates to be there, and we would have liked to see Prime Minister Trudeau there. But at the end of the day, it's about quality of what you say, not necessarily quantity. And so we're going to be paying attention to this debate, but also the debates that he does participate in, the French one as well as the Canadian, uh, the English one. Right. 
and so um, when we look at what he says during those uh, debates, we're going to um, judge like what they hope to accomplish and um, whether uh, we're going to be voting liberal or other candidates. S sometimes people say that uh, Canadians wake up at the debate. That's really when they begin to start paying attention. Yeah. Is, 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 is what they say on those debate stages, is that really something that could influence ultimately where you decide or is that just a part of it? It sounds like it's just part of it. Exactly. Um, again, I don't think it's going to be just one thing right. that's going to influence our decision. We're going to be paying attention on all fronts and de the debate will help for sure and it'll give us an idea of um, where the candidates stand but we'll definitely be paying attention to other news reports, um, social media and um, things like that. So have to be wary of disinformation. Absolutely. We were just talking about yeah. that. You know, that's going to be a factor throughout this campaign. Mm -hmm. Is it local issues and local candidates or national issues and federal leaders who are most important to you? I think that uh, when we talk about gender equality and uh, climate justice, those are definitely national and even international issues. So we care about those, but also uh, local issues that concern us are like economic development in our region. And um, we're going to be looking at those as well. It's a factor of um, how the candidates hope to create change in our own communities, but also how they hope to represent the community federally and the decisions that they make there. But will your ultimate decision, you're in the riding of Durham, you yes. live now, yes. so that is uh, in the incumbent is conservative Aaron O'Toole right now. There's yeah. a liberal candidate in uh, Jonathan Jan Croce, uh, a green candidate in Evan Price, new Democrat candidate in uh, Sarah Whalen Wright. Local, do you vote local or do you vote national? I think... At the, like we're going to be looking at both things because because right. when voters are making decisions, sometimes they're voting for the party. They're saying I'm going to vote for liberal because I want a liberal government, for example. But that's not always um, like the right decision, maybe because your local candidate could be from a different party, but still be making the right decisions for your community. And mm -hmm. so again, it's going to be a combination of both, whichever but then you one. Have to weigh that, don't exactly, you? exactly. So I think it's going to ultimately come down to look following this campaign we'll probably make a decision closer to the date but we're going to be making sure that um, both align and then ultimately we're going to be making the decision on what's more important if we find that locally it's not really going to make that big, big of a difference but like we we need like this particular party to come in because their platform is saying this this and this about climate change and gender equality then that's what's going to impact our decision but we're going to be giving our local candidates a chance too and it's not going to be just based on party okay it's interesting so many uh, people get um discouraged when the youth vote is so low or where young Canadians are not engaged. It's very yeah. wonderful to listen to you talk and obviously Thank with you. a grasp of what's going on and how important it is to make these decisions so um, carefully. And I know you're going to be talking about these issues on your own YouTube channel in yeah. days to come. We're early moments of this campaign. For you, though, let me wrap up with the issue. You'll be talking about the issues, as you've said, locally, uh, within your riding and nationally. For you, what matters most to you in this election, Naval? Um, for us, again, like we were talking about girls' education and climate justice, but also um, we put, feel that it's important for Canada to step up um, internationally when conflicts are taking place. Like recently we were um, looking at the Kashmir issue very closely and we believe that whenever human rights violations are taking place or children are not going to school in a region because of conflict, like Canada needs to be able to step up and stand up for girls' education and gender equality on all fronts, no matter like the, I guess, the political side of things. When it's a like, matter of human rights, um, Canada needs to always be at the forefront of that and standing up for those rights. Canada on the world stage, something yes, that matters to you. Exactly. And for you, final word. I don't know who, who between the two of you gets the final word in <laughs> discussions, okay. but Miriam gets it with me this yeah. morning. What matters most to you in this election? I think ultimately what matters most is um, someone who's going to be making the right decisions for our country. I feel like a lot of candidates, like we're going to be paying attention to climate justice a lot. A lot of candidates say that they support, you know, green policy or that they want to make a difference for climate change, but we're we're going to see which policy is going to actually make a difference. I think you can say a lot of things, but um, it, it matters what, who's actually going to do the work and what t kind of action they're going to be taking. Uh, I think to a certain extent, all candidates are saying things about climate justice, but for us, we're going to be paying attention to what kind of difference they want to achieve. And so that's also going to determine our de like what we're going to decide. What wonderful voices with which to begin our coverage. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in. Naval and Maram Raymond, uh, students at University of Toronto, first year, first time voting on October 21st. Thank you for Thank the you time for today. Us. Really appreciate that conversation. Thank you.